is Ernie Hatmaker, and it's time for me to do something about this. I didn't clean up the garden in the fall. I just kind of left it. There was a lot going on, a lot going on. Some of you um, know that I, I've had um, some family that that's been, you know, pretty sick, and so we've been kind of dealing with that and haven't spent as much time, you know, doing the normal garden chores. Well, now that it's kind of spring, you can tell it's spring because I'm all bundled up. <laughs> right spring is actually in a couple of days um so i'm trying my best to uh make the most of the time that i do have to get out here and do stuff even if it means brrr. so if you want to watch i appreciate that and if you don't i understand that you guys have a good one and enjoy so so far what i've decided to do is to use this bed that Ed had uh, gotten for me and um, I'm going to start uh, kind of repurposing the container soil. It's not exactly going to be compost but I am going to heat it up to the point where I can't use it for I would say at least two or three more months. It's going to be that hot. I'm going to add a lot of uh, nutrients back to it, uh, magnesium, uh, lots of uh, nitrogen and we're going to see if we can't kill off some of the, the root systems and seeds that are already in some of this soil. Not to mention um, if I open this up like I've got it right now and kind of twist these things a little bit, whatever bug eggs might be in them. Um, there are some eastern Carolina bluebirds that have been hunting this area and I've seen them catching grasshoppers and spiders and beetles and stuff like that, so I know that they're going to be keeping an eye on what's crawling around in this too. And I saw a few wormy cocoons, and I'm not planning on having any extra beetles and worms hanging around that shouldn't be. So this uh, is going to be pretty good. It's, it's been heavy, tedious work. I've emptied 10 of my containers now. And because it just rained yesterday, they are heavy. So, anyway, that's what I'm doing. Um, I'm going to have all these buckets emptied, um, cleaned out, sanitized, um, and then ready for the next round. All right, you can see those uh, brown circular spots. I've pretty much got all the uh, buckets and containers from this end except for the ones that are right there. This one's kind of full of water and dirt, and that white one has, um, I don't know, <laughs> a nice ugly spider on it. I'm not quite ready to piss her off. So anyway, this is what I've been doing. I've been clearing out uh, the dead chard, and there was actually chard coming out of the dead chard, kind of like a propagation. But now that the chard has died back, my uh, peppermint that reseeded itself from the bonnie peppermint plants, those have come up. And the peppermint on this side, i would gotten this sweet mint from Healthy Homestead Chick, and I thought it had died, but the chard was covering it. And over here, I had some more chard. This was also Swiss chard, but I had planted a couple of mustard greens in there. Look at that. It looks like a uh, cricket or centipede or something down there. Anyway, I guess I'm stirring up some stuff now that I'm clearing back all this death and destruction. I better watch my back, huh? So I was pulling up um, the sunflowers. And I ran upon something weird. I thought it was, you know, kind of strange looking. I thought maybe there was a, a rock. Turns out, I dug up a small turtle. It's alive, but because it's 50 degrees out here and it was um, about four inches underneath the ground, I feel kind of bad um, because it's supposed to snow in two days. Um, 
I don't know really where to put this turtle other than, you know, to try to put some of the dirt back over it and uh, hope it can dig down a little farther. It's a baby. I'm just going to put him back in there and I was going to dump this in with my other stuff, but I'll dump this over them instead. It's very loose, so he can dig out if he needs to, but it'll give him cover. Look at this. That's an egg. And it's soft. I don't know if it's a turtle egg, a uh, snake egg. <laughs> what else is here? I thought that was a rock. But after finding a, a turtle, do I really want to pull up the rest of these sunflowers? Alright, so I flipped the egg over. It's got a little hole in it. It's very possible it's just that turtle hatched out of it and just moved to the other side. There is a little tunnel under there which I'm not going to follow. I'm actually getting kind of creeped out. I did not sign up for this. I don't want to go digging through any more reptile eggs. Alright, so I got the last of the sunflowers pulled out. I was a little more gentle uh, this time so that I didn't pull up any other turtles that were in here. I'm pretty sure it's a nice soft area for these things to, you know, put their babies in. But, uh... I went ahead and moved the stakes uh, because I was going to widen sunflower row. So uh, that's done. I'm going to wait until after the snow um, in the next couple of days before I get rid of this grass. And, and uh, this was the mulch that I had left over from last year. Um, I'm go actually going to have somebody um, truck in some mulch this season. I'm still planning on making a, a little patch of sunflowers, but I'm, just, I'm also going to do sunflower row because I really liked um, having the path and then the, the really tall sunflowers to walk between. That was just kind of a cool feeling, so I want to do that again.